guys, my name is Amy Cho, golf professional. I know many of you guys are able to get near the green fairly well now because you guys watch my golf lessons all the time, right? <laughs> but from the fringe, I've seen a lot of instances where golfers would chip, hit their chip shots bad and that ultimately hurts your golf score because you're not able to save up and down, right? So I have prepared a chip shot lesson today. I'm going to explain why fat chip shots happen and show you a simple drill to help you fix it. So there are many different reasons why fat chip shots happen, but today I'm going to focus on the incorrect weight shift and incorrect uh, excessive pressure in the hands that causes you to hit them fat. Okay, first of all, when you're hitting chip shots, I have about 25 yards here from the ball to the target. When you're hitting little shots like this, you want to keep your weight about 60% in the front foot and keep it there during the backswing and then shift through and finish with about 90% in the lead foot. But the most common fault I see in wrong weight transfer is um, in full swings, we're so used to shifting into our back foot and then use our hip speed to get it through into the lead leg. Uh, and when you try to do the same thing in the small chip shot like this, obviously if you shift into the back foot, now we don't have as much hip speed doing these small shots. So because we don't have the, that hip movement, you're gonna get stuck in the back foot. And when you start your downswing in this position, now obviously you're going to hit way behind the golf ball, right? That's why fat shots happen. We need to really maintain that 60% in the front foot in the back swing. So that way you're able to make crisp contact on the way down consistently. Easiest drill to fix. I have this little squeaky ball. We're gonna go ahead and place this behind your right heel. Okay, let's set up. Place it behind your back foot. So here, it's going to exaggerate what it feels like to keep your weight in the front foot in the back swing. If you're not used to doing that, obviously you're going to make noise, step on that ball. But if you do it correctly, It's really exaggerating and you're gonna feel how engaged your front thigh is and the knee is going to move slightly in a different angle than a full swing. Um, exaggerating with a, something under your heel is really going to help you understand the correct weight shift. Okay, so let's just say you are doing this drill and you're still hitting it fat and you're not sure why. It's probably the grip pressure. A lot of people tend to have 100% grip pressure in their hands and try and hit the ball really hard and try and dig. We're only like 20, 25 yards away from the hole. There's no need for us to hit it that hard, right? So we're gonna have to learn to grip the club about 20% pressure minimum amount so the club doesn't move in your hands. And in order to do that, we need to use our imagination and pretend like the ball is an egg. So if it's an egg, obviously, you're not going to want to pound down at it because you're gonna crack it. So, you know, I want you to feel like it's an egg. You gotta, you know, baby it uh, and relax your hands. And eventually you gotta go from 100% pressure into 20% and you're going to start bottoming that club head out beautifully. Just going really soft, boom, instead of trying to dig in and smash the ball, okay? So, pretend the golf ball is an egg and you don't want to crack it, so you gotta soften up your hands. That sound was different, it was a click, it was a lot softer hit. You really need to use your imagination, which is going to help you relax your hand grip pressure. If you've been struggling with hitting chip shots fat, uh, check your waist shift during the swing. Uh, if you are shifting into the back foot too much, try that ball under your heel drill. And if it's your grip pressure that's making you dig into the ground, then really your, use your imagination, pretend the ball is an egg and soften up your hands to 20%. 
I hope you're able to follow along. If you have any more questions, please come to my website, Ask Amy section, and leave your questions, comments there. I'll see you guys in the next video.